I'm Dr. Steve Claypool. Next, I'll review the carb you've been waiting for, sugar. Sugar doesn't fit as smoothly on the glycemic index risk scale. Its negative health impact seems to be greater than its glycemic index. The glycemic index of sugar is medium, but that may be deceiving though because sugar is composed of both fructose and glucose attached together. The glucose portion has a high glycemic index. The fructose portion has a lower glycemic index. The fructose portion attenuates the measured score, but just because the fructose is present doesn't diminish the impact of the glucose portion of the sugar. It may may impact the measured score, but perhaps not the risk. This article reviewed 17 studies. It suggests that sugar increases the risk of diabetes. Sugar consumption is also associated with obesity. This study estimates that every 10 ounce increase in daily consumption of sugar sweetened beverages, that is soft drinks, increases the likelihood of obesity by more than 60%. So that's about one can per day increases risk of being fat by more than 60%. I think the best comment for this study is, duh. And most importantly, sugar intake is associated with increased death from cardiovascular disease. In this study, even after adjusting for multiple factors, the group that consumed the most sugar had about double the number of deaths from heart disease. This curve represents the normal distribution of sugar consumption with average consumption here. Left to right represents more sugar consumption. You can see death from heart disease rises rapidly am among people that eat the most sugar. Interestingly, heart disease doesn't really rise much except in the people that eat a lot of sugar. There is relatively little difference between the people that eat no sugar and those that eat a little more than an average amount of sugar. Unfortunately, we really don't have enough data to truly know the negative impact of sugar consumption. We don't have data on all-cause mortality. In fact, sugar is understudied. This very recent review reveals that there isn't enough data on sugar to adequately create guidelines for sugar consumption. But sugar clearly seems to be bad for us. Based on the paucity of data, we cannot directly compare it to other refined carbohydrates like rice, corn, potatoes, and white flour. But even though the glycemic index is not as high as those foods, I'm going to assume for now, until more data is available, that it is comparable in negative health given the increase in heart disease in cohort studies. And it may be worse for us. What about other sugars? The metabolism of fructose is different than glucose. It is processed by the liver into glucose and glycogen to replete liver glycogen stores, as opposed to increasing blood glucose levels. We primarily get fructose by itself from fruit in our diets. Consider it to be different from table sugar. It doesn't raise blood sugar when consumed in whole fruits. And as I've reviewed in my fruit video, fruits are good for us. But fructose in fruits is different than high fructose corn syrup, which, as the name implies, is a syrup with concentrated sugars that is extracted from corn. It's a deceiving name! It's a misnomer. Even though high fructose corn syrup has fructose in the name, it is composed of both fructose and glucose in the same amounts as sucrose. The body's response to high fructose corn syrup is not like fructose in fruit. It's like sucrose or table sugar. High fructose corn syrup and sucrose have the same metabolic and endocrine response. They are essentially equivalent. They both have the same amount of fructose and glucose. High fructose corn syrup and table sugar also have the same calories, the same level of sweetness, and are absorbed identically. We know that from multiple studies. So high fructose corn syrup, unlike fructose in a fruit, is bad for us, just like regular sugar. There is a movement to minimize intake of high fructose corn syrup and have it removed from you as foods, which is reasonable, but there is no reason to assume regular sugar, that is sucrose, is any better. Both high fructose corn syrup and sucrose are bad for us, and they are the same. And maple syrup and honey are nutritionally the same as sugar too. Honey is composed of fructose and glucose, while maple syrup is sucrose, just like sugar. In summary, sugar is bad for us. It's probably comparable to the other bad carbs. Stay tuned for details though. In my next video, I'll fill in one of these ranked mystery slots with a carb on the list of dietary changes that impact health. I'll also place carbs on the healthful food scale.